Hello everybody, Luis here and let's talk C Sharp. Again, this will be a very quick video. I just want to show you how to check if an integer number is odd or even. Okay, so why integer number? That's the first thing. Um, that's because you cannot assess whether a number is odd or even if it's a floating point number. That's a mathematical concept. Okay, so it has to be an integer. It has to be, uh, it cannot be a floating point number. Okay, so now that we know if statements, that's easy, right? Um, so I won't I won't collect this input from the user. I will assume that you already know how to do that. If you don't, please go back and watch some of the other videos. Uh, I will assume that you already have the number in in a variable. Okay, so let's say that you have this number as five, and that's what you collected from the user. Okay, so. We already know what if statements are and what they do, so let's create some. We're gonna have an if else. And what I have to do is check if number is odd or even. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I can use a mathematical operator called modulus. Okay, so essentially what I have to do is check if number modulus two equals equals zero what the hell does that mean well that's simple uh, the modulus operator gives you the remainder or residue um, of a division okay so for example five divided by two is actually equal to two and the remainder is one Okay, so that's what it means. So 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7, and the remainder is also 1. Okay, um, so I, I mean th this is not a math class or anything, so I, I don't want to I don't want to bother you with the math uh, behind this logic. But essentially, in short. Um, the modulus will give you the remainder of a division and that's the number that you have to worry about if you want to check if a number is odd or even. And why is that? Because odd numbers, when divided by 2, will always give you a remainder of 1. And even numbers, when divided by 2, will always give you a remainder of 0. Okay? So if you, divi if you divide 4 by 2, you're going to get two as a result and the remainder is zero and that's going to be true for every even number okay so now that we know that and look at this uh, conditional statement right here is a boolean expression it actually makes more sense now so number divided by two should give me a result of zero meaning the remainder will be zero in this case and if that's the case that's how I know that this that's how I know that number is what is an even number okay otherwise number is an odd number okay so quick recap modulus gives you the remainder of a division this number divided by 2 should give me a remainder of 0 for this condition to be true and if it is true then what I'm gonna say is that number is an even number because any even number divided by 2 will give me a remainder of zero okay and otherwise well if it's not even it has to be true and that's why you only have we only have an else statement here saying that this is an odd number okay so let's run this there we go five is an odd number and it is an odd number uh let's say let's change this to 50 now if i run this 50 is an even number. Cool. So the program works. 
Um, hopefully this makes sense. This is a very simple concept. Um, if it doesn't make sense to you at first, you know, you can watch this video as many times as you need. Um, and if you have to, you can take a break from YouTube, go back to Google. There are so many good uh, math websites that you can do some research and learn more about modulus uh, operators or the modulus operator because there's only one. <laughs> um but yeah i mean it's uh yeah if you have to you can learn more about it if you don't if this video already makes sense to you that's great so i'll see you guys next time cheers